Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, triangle DEB fully confined in a right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, line AC is parallel to this uh, line EF, and moreover, uh, this segment uh, AD is 5 units whereas uh, this segment uh, FB is uh, 3 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, DEB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And we know that these two lines AC and EF are parallel to each other. So therefore, this angle EFB is going to be 90 degrees. And moreover, this angle and this angle, they are our corresponding angles and both are congruent. If this angle is alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped this uh, perpendicular DP on this line uh, AB. And let me go ahead and now label uh, this uh, perpendicular DP as uh, lowercase uh, h. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, EB length uh, as uh, lowercase b. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, DEB and we know our base uh, lowercase b is uh, this side EB and the height uh, is uh, H. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle uh, is going to be B times uh, H divided by 2 and I'm going to label this our equation uh, number 1. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, APD. We know this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EFB. We know this angle is alpha, this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangles, triangle APD and the other triangle EFB are similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion, in other words the ratio of P d divided by a d is going to be equal to f b divided by e b let me write down e b at the denominator and now let's make an observation we can see our this uh, p d is uh, lowercase h so therefore i'm going to replace this p d by lowercase h and this uh, a d length uh, is uh, 5 units so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 5 and this uh, f b length uh, is uh, 3 units so I'm going to replace this one by 3 and finally this uh, e b length is lowercase b so I'm going to replace this one by lowercase b so therefore we can write this one as uh, h divided by 5 equals to 3 divided by lowercase b and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore b times h turns out to be 15 and now let's focus on our equation 1 and here I have copied down equation 1 and we know our b times h value is 15 so therefore I'm going to substitute this value over here by 15 so therefore this is going to become 15 divided by 2 and that's going to be equal to 7.5 so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 7.5 square units by using this very first method 
And now I am going to share with you the second method. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, DEB is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, DAB, this uh, whole triangle, minus uh, the area of the triangle uh, DAE, this uh, triangle area. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, DAB and the area of this triangle uh, DAE as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this segment uh, CF uh, as uh, lowercase x. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular AP on this line uh, AC. And since uh, both of these angles are uh, 90 degrees, and this uh, side length uh, AC is parallel to this uh, side EF. So therefore, we conclude uh, that this uh, EP length is going to be this uh, CF length. And we know this length is uh, x, so therefore EP length uh, is going to be x uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, shaded triangle uh, DAB. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And we can see for this uh, triangle uh, DAB, this uh, side uh, AD is uh, our base and this uh, whole uh, side uh, BC is uh, our uh, height uh, of this triangle and the height is going to be x uh, plus 3 so height becomes uh, x uh, plus 3 so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this triangle DAB and that's going to be a half uh, times our base uh, is 5 times our height uh, is uh, x uh, plus uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and distribute uh, these uh, values so this is going to give us uh, 5x uh, divided by 2 plus uh, 15 divided by 2 so thus our DAB area turns out to be 5x divided by 2 plus 15 divided by 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, DAE and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times base uh, times height. And for this triangle, uh, this uh, AD is the base uh, of this triangle. And this uh, PE is the height uh, of this uh, triangle. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle DAE is going to be a half times uh, 5 times uh, x. So that is same as writing 5x divided by 2. And now let's recall this equation once again. The area of this green triangle is going to be equal to the area of this triangle DAB. We already figured out over here. Minus the area of triangle DAE which is 5x divided by 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation. So therefore our triangle DAB area is 5x divided by 2 plus 15 divided by 2 minus the area of the other triangle DAE is 5x divided by 2. And now we can see 5x divided by 2 and minus 5x divided by 2 they are gone. So therefore we are just ended up with 15 divided by 2. So therefore this green triangle area turns out to be 7.5. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 7.5 square units uh, by using the second method as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.